Hey everybody, what's going on? I thought today we would mess around in Terra Dome. I recently, finally, got a sub 130 run and got these limited cards. This is by far the hardest dungeon to get these cards on. So I thought I would tell you how I did it. Another team that, that also worked. And then maybe we'll just play around with it for a little bit. This is the last team I tried and they did it. They also did it in, in a minute 29. I just wanted to see how Leo would, would perform with the help of uh, the new guy. So. I threw them in and they were able to do it too. We'll, we'll check that run out. I believe the run I finally did it with was something to the effect of this. I think I think this is the, the run that finally did it for me. It was, they weren't, I don't remember if they were hyper evolved or not, but either way, it shouldn't make a ton of difference. We've got Bailey Daniel backline. By the way, Daniel's really good in here. It might seem counterintuitive, because of the way that he operates he stays outside of the circle so he's not doing a lot of damage but his summons go in there and he actually outputs pretty solid damage in here so i've got them two in the back to get the bump from mas Rani, and then i've got muka and randall i also have done it with rakana in place of randall but some combination of this and then mas Rani again up front for the protection and then to deliver the heal so we'll let this run play out these these guys don't always do it in under a minute and a half. The first run I did, they did, and then and then sometimes they're slightly over. But this was the team that finally broke me through. And then, like I said, the the Na I think his name is Na Fang Leo combo also got it done. Now Bailey is the MVP in here for sure. Bailey is pumping out stupid damage in here. Daniel will catch up over time though and and put out solid damage. I've, I've switched Randall over to a damage build to try him out in here. Also, sometimes with this run, champs will drop. Last night I did one and Daniel and Masrani were the last two alive and they were fine. Daniel, like I said, puts out enough damage to do it for a while by himself. They can't survive forever like that, but... Um... Muka in here putting out some numbers too. So we're on a decent pace. If we can... No, we're not going to quite get it. I feel like you need to be done killing these, at least with my team, around like somewhere between 249 and 245 to, to beat them in, in time to get the 130 run. And sometimes that'll happen and sometimes it won't. I'll show you another run actually that, that did it for me. Actually, it may be the first one. I'm having a hard time remembering what the first team I did it with was. <laughs> uh, I know this team has done it though. We've I've gotten a lot of 129 runs, oddly enough. But I did one with Botmark, which is interesting again because Botmark also doesn't go into the ring. However, we'll just fill up. However, he. I think it maybe maybe was like this. He his effects still do what they do, right? If he's critting, he's increasing the the damage that the enemy's taking from everyone else, and it kind of piles up. And you'll you'll kind of see the effect of that. So let's do this run real quick, and you can see what it looks like. <laughs> yes, dude, I know. I wish you could take a take, like check a box that says "Don't tell me that anymore." So like Botmark's damage itself is gonna be pretty low in comparison to everyone else. But he allows everyone else to do a lot more damage. And then after the, the thing that happens near the end where we kill all the bombs, then he'll be inside the circle and he can contribute a little bit of damage to kind of speed up the last part of the fight. So he's also an effective one to use in here. But again, you you need, I kind of, it'll be interesting to see this done without Bailey. Like if anyone, if anyone, I'd like to see some fast runs that don't have Bailey. I reckon I have to get a few more of my champs build up. I know Skewer and Hattie are real good in here too, but I don't really have any evolutions in them. So I don't know how well they're going to perform here. We're on a pretty good pace right now. And when that happens, that's, that's lovely. When Daniel gets the bear dropped while the dude's in while the boss is in his animations and you can still tick that damage because of the bear that's real handy 
Got off to a slow start here though. I would like to see some tweaks for this dungeon. For example, right now, watch. All of this downtime, it still ticks. That that really hurts. At the beginning, when he does his little animation before you can attack, it ticks. Then when he does the thing where he shouts everyone away, there's a lot of wasted seconds in here. There's probably like eight or nine, eight, eight to ten maybe wasted seconds in here, it feels like. Uh, which is real tough. This was a much slower run. I think because we lost Mooka. I'm not real sure when he dropped. But anyway, th this team has done it. You got to get a little lucky, I guess. And then we did the, uh, let's see, we did the Nafang Leo combo. I've tried Artis in here. Um, we might try him again at some point. I like to put Leo backline here because he's getting the attack bump. And then I like to leave Bailey back there. So we can just run it like this. Might also be worth, I, I, I did put Dark Summit here instead of Pain Rune because I just don't need Pain Rune anymore in here. So Dark Summit's in here to help me out a little bit with the damage. I reckon we, we might not need Flashpoint anymore either, but I don't really think we're getting, I mean, I guess we could do Healing Horn for the stat boost. I don't think we really need Flashpoint. I guess we'll find out. So let's try this one real quick and see how they do. They did a 129 right before I started this video. It is kind of unfortunate that it feels like you, you just have to have Bailey to do a fast run in here though. No one else really even like has compared with his damage. Maybe we maybe we try Artis instead of Nafang for the next one. Yeah, see Leo's just not doing much damage. Even with the buffs from Nafang. I mean he's doing okay, but I don't know that we're on pace to Yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll throw Artis up front. We get some big chunk damage here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Real close, real close there on that one. And that, that, I mean, that's those wasted seconds throughout the whole fight. Without those wasted seconds, we, we'd have had that one as well. Let's drop these two. I don't know that we're getting enough damage to justify having them in there. And maybe we try Artis for his... I've, I've also re-geared Artis. So I don't know how he's going to do. He might he might die real quick. I've re-geared him for damage in a gluttony set. I was playing around with that a little bit for Disa. So he might just come in here and get killed automatically, honestly. And then maybe, maybe we try Mooka. And why don't we put you in the back for the, for the boost. And then, see the only one benefiting from that is Bailey. Kills an enemy, that's not doing us a lot of good. Soaring Medallion. This one actually is interesting. Uh, if, if we had <laughs> Energy or Hunter Heroes. Soaring Medallion, I think, is one you guys were talking about when I did my video on my favorite prototypes. This is one I didn't mention that a lot of you guys mentioned to me that I should play around with. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll probably mess around with that one soon. Yeah, I don't really think... We're not going to be sustaining crit damage. That's interesting. Chaos Chip is interesting. When a Vanguard or Assassin is affected by a shield, they gain an additional 40% attack. That is pretty interesting. So look, let's upgrade this one. Can I just max it? I think I can max it. 
Let's let's try Chaos Chip in here. That's kind of an interesting one that I haven't. Is it new? I don't feel like I've ever really looked at this one. And then maybe we put Flashpoint back in to gain some more shields. And then maybe we try Leo again instead of Artist. Maybe that maybe that extra attack will help Leo. Why don't we try the Na Fang team again, but run Chaos Ship instead? We'll throw Flashpoint back in, and we'll we'll run. Let's just see if it, if it's like a noticeable change. Because forty percent attack is a lot. Seems like a noticeable bump in damage. I'm not sure if enough if the buff from nothing is enough to justify him being here though. For Leo, because Leo Leo is doing more damage than he did last time. We're definitely here quicker than we've been getting here. It just takes such a long time for the clock to still be ticking, man. Alright, we're on a real good pace here. Sucks Daniel blew his ult there. If Daniel hadn't wasted his ult on that last bomb, I think we'd have had that. Okay, I, th I feel like Chaos Ship makes a difference. I think Na Fang isn't doing enough to justify being here, though. So, I'm also not entirely sure Leo is, but... Let's try... Either an Assassin or Mooka. Let's throw Mooka in. It would be interesting to see what throwing Taylor and, and doing it manually would do for us now. Maybe we'll have to try that as well. Let's let's leave Leo. No, look. Let's let's let Muka get the boost. Let's let Muka get the boost from Masrani. Bro. See, it's six seconds before we even get to hit him. That's just goofy as hell, dude. That was a good... Chunk of damage right there. Oh, we're on a real good pace here. It just eats up so much time. I can't get over it, man. I think it's more than 10 seconds. I, I forgot about it at the beginning. So yeah, the beginning there's... I think we didn't hit him for... Well, I say six seconds. Because it's on times two. It's st it still equates to six seconds, I think. Um... And then when he does the thing where he shoots you off, I mean, you're probably losing like, I think you're actually losing over 10 seconds for all his animations. But this, this was, this is a, a smooth clear. That, that's an easy clear right there. I think Chaos Chip is a key to this one. Chaos Chip seems like a really good one. That's, by, I mean, that's by far my best run so far. 
So now we think, is there anyone we can put in besides Leo that's going to give us more damage? I could throw him in Crete. His Crete does have defense down, I think, and stuff, but I don't know if it, that matters that much. We can try it. We've got enough stamina to experiment a little bit here. Let's see how this goes, if, if, if we notice the difference. Who do we take out? Who did we just take out for free? Leo, okay. Yeah, it'll be a matter of whether or not he's allowing us to do more damage than Leo was doing. Still on a pretty good pace. Dude, Crete was like, I'm not waiting on your stupid animation. <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right, we're, we're pushing it here. I think we're still gonna get it though. Okay, all right. I don't know that it matters Crete over Leo, necessarily. Doesn't seem to have much of an impact. We could try to just put in some more damage. I could see if Skewer and Hattie can stay alive. I think maybe I should give Skewer and Hattie the attack boost and help them out a little bit. We'll see what kind of numbers we get here from a completely unevolved Skewer and Hattie. If Skewer and Hattie can even stay alive. be better off with with randall or rakana until like yeah see we, see we and we're losing folks let's drop you and let's do let's try rakana we'll go muka again backline we'll throw rakana in let's see Rakana or Randall also would benefit from Chaos Chip, so this potentially is very good for us. Whew. If Rakana gets targeted, though, then that's a wrap. That's, that's the problem, is keeping them alive. They're so squishy. his uh, shadow doing out here? Man, take your fucking time. You know what I mean? bear drop there was well timed I think we're good lost Bailey 
still managed to pull it off. Losing Bailey hurt. Okay, so yeah, I think I think the the key ingredient here is uh, Chaos Chip. Actually, I mean Bailey, obviously, obviously it's Bailey. <laughs> I think Chaos Chip though is is huge for this. So Mook is also really really good in here. I think it seems like putting Leo in. Gives us a little bit of a like a cushion. Daniel's really good in here, despite the fact he's getting no benefit from commanders or uh, prototypes. But I think Chaos Chip is a really, really important part of this. I think that's going to make it a lot easier. So I think I think this might be the one. I think this might be the best setup we have right here. Chaos Chip, Prism Amulet, Flashpoint. The Crisk looking commander. And then this squad. This seems to give us the best times. can take that hit. I'm a, or, or Leo, rather. Yeah, this is clearly clearly the best run we've tried. Daniel, don't burn your ult. Don't do it, Daniel. Perfect. One thirteen, we're creeping up on a minute, dude. Yeah, that 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 definitely seems like the way to go. That seems like the squad right there. One more thing I wanted to try was the Taylor thing. Let's let's do that real quick, and then we'll go uh, take a quick peek at everybody's gear and stuff. if this is any different. It's a bit of a slow start, but I feel like once he gets in here, it's going to be... Gross. Um, let's keep you out of the ring, I reckon. Or out of the cone. Shoot, we almost got him. <laughs> we almost got him while he was stuck in that animation. Let me kill these before the three minutes is up. Nice. And we'll get Taylor over here. So definitely faster. But we, we knew that. So if you want to manual it, there's an option for you, is getting Taylor in there. Uh, 108 is is pretty solid. Um, but again, it's, it's it's very doable, I think, with, with just like Leo in the spot or whatever. So real quick, the champs that, that we messed around with, here's Randall. He's on just, you know, normal damage stuff. There's nothing too spectacular about what's going on with him. Muka, I believe, is still on a gluttony set. Yeah, gluttony and attack. And we're just, uh, I, I did put some crit rate on him. We've got Taylor, who is on full sun signet with high crit rate. I, I think I'm going to work to swap him to crit damage gloves and keep the crit rate high. Because I think he can lose some crit rate. I don't think he needs 100. So we're going to sacrifice a little bit of crit rate and get some crit damage on him soon. Let's see, we, Rakana, again, both of the assassins are just standard 
damage builds. Not great gear either. They're, they they are wearing my leftover gear. Bailey Hudson is on a pretty decent build. He could stand to have a little more crit rate, but that's what we're working with on him. Daniel is... I think I recently redid Daniel. No, no, no. I, I have plans to redo Daniel. But for now, he's just full attack. I think I, I eventually want to get him on a light gap set. I want to try him out on light gap, but for now he's he's on full attack. So, Masrani, I believe is on. Uh, yeah, he's in an abundance set, full HP. And then Leo is. I think I did swap. Yeah, I've been trying Leo on a light gap set lately, and I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So, not sure I'll leave him on it, but again, I was doing some experimenting recently. And then Na Fang, I believe, is just full HP. Yeah. So that's it. There's, no, there's nothing too crazy going on with any of their builds. Um, Leo's on a light gap set, but he doesn't have to be. So there you go. Hopefully that at least gives you some ideas if you're struggling, because that's a tough one, man. That, that dungeon is tough to get that time down on. I'm glad we were able to actually make some process in the video, or progress, rather, in the video while we were doing some testing. And hopefully it gives you some ideas that you can apply uh, to your own account it'll help you out if you use any champs in there that i didn't look at today i'd be interested to hear about it if there's some sleeper champs in there that haven't really been talked about yet i i kind of used everyone that i think is truly effective in there today bot mark full crit rate it can work i believe bot mark was actually on my first team that did the 129 so it, it can work, but probably not ideal. Again, any assassin, Mook is real good in there. Natalus might be good. I'm not real familiar with Natalus just yet. So again, there might be some other options. I'd be interested in hearing if you guys are using any other champs in there and getting anything out of them. Um, but either way, hopefully this helps you out. It helps you come up with something you can get those last couple limited cards and uh, be done with it. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Appreciate y'all.